literally driving to a pond to go find some actual real goose droppings. Where are you guys going? Hold up. Where's your potty at? You gotta ask yourself that question. So we are here at the uh, weigh-in final day Lake Seminole Bassmaster Elite Series event with the kids. And so of course the first thing we do is find a bounce house, but hopefully soon we're gonna find some bass. Sure. All right. Yeah, good turnout here, South Georgia. Oh, 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 here's one coming in. Look, here he comes. Watch out. Oh, a couple of boats, yeah. Here they come. The real Bassmaster is here, right there. Big bird. There's Happy Jack, he's so happy. He's so happy. Oh, he's so happy to be here. Mike Iconelli. Legend. Legendary, y'all. There he is. All right, Landon, here comes the bass. Hey, look, buddy, he's got the fish. So this guy is probably about to win this tournament on a pink drop shot robo worm. <laughs> nine pounds, twelve ounces. Oh, he's got nine pounds, twelve ounces. <laughs> he's got nine pounds. Eighteen pounds, yeah. Yeah. I figured it'd take eighty pounds for this tournament. All right, everybody, so the weigh-in is over. That was pretty cool. Glad to have the Elite Series, the NFL of fishing, back here close to home, Lake Seminole. And uh, it was really fun. I got to meet a couple of you guys who watch the channel, including a few youngsters who make baits. Uh, so I was approached by a handful of people who recognized me. So thanks uh, to everyone who came and said hello. And uh, that was really nice to meet some, uh, to meet some subscribers, uh, including the next generation of bait makers, you know? Uh, you know, kids in their uh, teenage years making baits. That's great to see. All right, so we are back in the fish cave, and uh, I know that the uh, Seminole Elite event was a week ago, um, but super cool, and I uh, wanted to show just a few scenes from that. It was really cool to see the highest level of the sport, and it was really, really awesome to get to meet some fellow bait makers and uh, subscribers to the channel. So, um, yeah, I was pleasantly surprised when some people started walking up so uh, thanks to everyone um, and uh, now we have a new color so I randomly got a mysterious package in the mail the other day had no idea that it was coming it's a new color and um, let's just say it's got an interesting name yes this is real you're reading that correctly goose turd I, I almost can't even say it What's funny is earlier today I took my kids to a playground and it's got a little uh, pond on it. There were geese everywhere, so maybe later on we can take our goose turd baits and go down to the pond and compare them with the real thing. And of course it wouldn't be a world's worst fishing video without showing you some recent work. Here we have the uh, AI 5 inch mold in a hand poured rainbow trout pattern. Lovely, lovely there. So the pink is dead on plastics red rum. So yeah, we have quite a few of these. A whole set of 14 lined up there. One of my favorite patterns to pour. Sort of a uh, green pumpkin there in the head with some flake. Then the red rum is skin poured down the side of the mold. And then we uh, fill in the bodies. Yeah, how about that? Beautiful pile of rainbow trout. Of course, poured in the AI 5 inch mold with dead on plastic black bucket swim bait blend, which is what we're gonna be using today for that right there. All right, so when showing off a new color, I want a variety of molds to, um, oh, there goes that laundry. I guess to kind of show the overall color profile. So we're gonna kind of, uh, we kind of kind of see what all we've got and then you know the open pore side of things over here 
So yeah, we're gonna pick out a few things. Okay, so we've got a variety of molds on the uh, Fishing All Out Bait Maker's Hot Plate heating up. So we've got an open pour worm from uh, Bob's Tackle Shack over here. Ooh, that's hot. We've got the AI ribbon tails and the seven and a half inch, four and a half inch bot worm. Then the Ginger Ninja over there on the far left. And then we've got a couple of injection molds here. We've got the Lizard and the Rip Wrap. Um, so quite a variety of stuff. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and cook up the plastic. That's Black Bucket Swim Bait Blend. And try out this color. Okay, Doke, uh, what's gonna happen when we unleash the geese? Okay, here it is. Never used it. Okay, got some on the finger. It's never good to have goose turds on your finger. That looks red. Okay, so what even is this? Let's just go with 20 drops. I think that's 20. I was uh, never good with numbers. Okay, yeah, so like almost a... You know what, this is a great green pumpkin. Look at that. Yeah, okay, this is exactly what I was thinking it would probably be. I had seen a few pictures from when Travis first kind of posted up the color. Oh. Okay, so this is a lot like Green Pumpkin 109 from Lureworks, right? Which is one of the all-time, you know, heavy hitters in the colors. But it's a little bit browner version. It's a little less green than the 109. But this is what I would compare it to, is the Green Pumpkin 109, okay? So, if you want a comparison pigment, um, to me, that's it. This is looking really, really attractive. It's a very brown, it's a very brown green pumpkin. It's a very attractive green pumpkin. Okay, so we're going to do a few baits in just this, the color as is, and then we might add some flake to it See if we can really bring these goose turds to life. But yeah, no, I'm uh, I'm very very happy with uh, with what I'm seeing. Obviously, the name is a bit novelty, but this is going to be a serious player uh, in my lineup going forward. I put I use a lot of browns and a lot of green pumpkin 109. So we will have this in our lineup very soon. All right, here we go with some goose turd injection. Let's see what happens. All right, now we're just gonna fill a few cavities in the open pour uh, division here, I guess we could call it. We're gonna start way over here on the left with these ninjas. I'm sorry that we're a little zoomed out. I'm just trying to get these done. Yeah. Might even over, might even have uh, oversaturated it a little bit. It's looking mighty fine. Yeah, this is a really, really nice green pumpkin, y'all. No doubt about it. This could, uh, this could absolutely take the place of 109. If you're somebody that doesn't already use 109, you could, uh, you could do, use this all day long. All right. Let's see if we can get something poured cleanly. I need to get one of those tabletop mounts for my camera for when I'm doing open pours. That way I'm not doing this around a tripod because this sucks. I feel like I can never do a clean worm on camera because of that. Yeah. 
about that uh, Murdoch trial, huh? Giving South Carolina a really good name. Very sad, very sad story, that whole thing. Family completely destroyed and killed because of greed. Uh, you know what they say about the love of money. Yeah, there it is. That is a really good green pumpkin. I am very, very, very happy with this. Yeah. Goose turd. Who would have thought? This is, um, this is exciting for me personally because I have such a love affair with 109 to know that there's another green pumpkin out there that is every bit as good. Um, makes me happy, you know? This is, um, this is already one of my absolute favorites. No, it's not a color shift, it's not a morph, it's not anything fancy, but this right here is probably the base for more colors than anything else maybe aside from purple or black. I mean, green pumpkin is universal and dang near everything in soft baits, and uh, I'm really, really glad to see this. Okay, so it is tubular. Okay, so we, can need, so we need to make some Cinco's. Usually comes in different colors like dark brown, green, and even white. Okay. It is not uncommon to find geese poop littered around. Yes, it is completely everywhere. It's very disgusting. It's 75% water. <laughs> you can tell I'm a watch guy, right? I'm getting all these ads for these watches. But those are like uh, entry-level watches. How often? Okay. Wow, look at this. Geese. Every 12 minutes. That's why there's so much. Every 12 minutes. So they take a dump 100 times a day. Ruining golf courses all over the country. Yeah, wow. What a, what a disgusting animal. Is it dangerous? They carry bacteria. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, excellent. E. coli. That's good. That's, that's excellent. Yeah, so um, really great stuff there coming from the geese. All right, let's go ahead and open up one of these. Here's the lizard. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, what a great shade of green pumpkin here. Yeah, this is, this is special. I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. Look at that. Man, just by itself, it's killer. Throw some purple and black flake in there and some green, and boom, you got watermelon candy. Put some black and red flake, boom, you got watermelon red. You know, this is the base for so many great colors. Yeah. So that right there is the Angling AI Molds Lizard. Okay, and now we're going to check out these rip wraps. Okay, the rip wrap is a small injection swim bait. It's a solid body. Yeah, incredible action on this bait. Look at that, yeah. I'm very happy with this, you guys. I know I've said that like 10 times, but I mean it. I truly mean it. This is gonna be in a ton, ton of my baits. There's gonna be goose turd hidden in there when you least expect it in some of my uh, most complicated recipes. These are going to be in a lot of swim baits too. All right, so we've seen what it looks like by itself. Now let's actually use it to build a real color, okay? So let's see now how it works as a base for a color that you would likely make, all right? And uh, we're going to go with a watermelon candy, okay? So just some black flake, some medium green flake, It's a very flake rich color. And then some medium black grape flake or any sort of dark purple. It's a very Mardi Gras type of color. But it's known as watermelon candy. So let's go ahead, get this mixed in. Black, green, and purple flake, yeah. 
Ooh, Bessie. That's looking mighty fine. Mighty fine. All right, here we go. Let's see if we have enough because this mold drinks. Gonna get this mold first. Oof, it's gonna be close, y'all. <laughs> it's gonna be close. Oh, do we have enough? I think we do. Oh, just enough. Just enough. All right, let's see how our goose turd candy lizards came out. Oh. Spectacular. Look at that. Look at this madness. That's way prettier than uh, goose droppings. Woo! Yeah. That is stunning. All right. Now, here comes the big one. This is like a two pound piece of aluminum here. This mold is gargantuan. Is it gargantuan or gargantuous? I think it's gargantuan. Yeah. The Magnum AR worm. Yeah, perfect. Look at that. Let's go ahead and straighten it out. Yeah. Look at this. That's something else in it. Simple, simple colors, but it takes a good color base to pull it off. And uh, yeah, who would have known that Goose Turd was rocking such an awesome green pumpkin? Look at this. Yeah. I like purposely didn't test it ahead of time or look at pictures of it before filming the video because I kind of wanted to just see for myself what it was. You know, I had seen Travis's original uh, picture of it, but uh, nothing really beyond that. There it is. One thing can be said, it's a lot prettier than the name suggests, and it makes one hell of a watermelon candy. Look at this. All right, now for the fun part. We're going to go down to the pond and try to look for some real goose turds. Okay, so we are currently on our way down to the closest public watering hole where I saw geese this morning to get our hands on some real goose turds. Do not question the dedication to the channel because, yeah, I, I thought I outgrew this kind of thing when I was like 12, apparently not. Crikey, there's some right there in their natural habitat natural environment yes it's a man-made pond but those are wild geese let's go see if they just took a dump okay here we have the real thing oh where are they at there they are there it is didn't take long okay there it is there it is it didn't take us long to find it and uh yeah that's pretty gross I will never do this again. But there it is. The reel and the color. You know, I needed to have mixed in a little bit of grass. You know, had I put some grass in my baits, it would be absolutely spot on. There's people everywhere wondering what the heck I'm doing. But um, yeah, this is a public park. Like, this is a pathway where people walk. So I gotta make this quick before somebody sees me. But look at that. Okay, well, Travis, uh, good job, I guess, on making an absolute turd of a color. That's one thing I like about the black label plastic. It's got a good sink to it. Yeah, it's on a hook, but it's got a really good wobble and sink to it without any salt. Salt still helps. You know, everyone wants to match the Yamamoto. You still got to have salt but you can get away with a lot less. And I have customers that don't ask for any salt at all. So, 
Look at that. Here he comes back. He's right on it. You can probably see his tail moving. All right. Met a local angler, Jason. He's, uh, you, you said you were in Capital City or, or Big Bend? Big Bend. Yep, he just got this little, this little bass to hit his, uh, what is that, a bandito bug on there? Yeah. Okay. There he is. <laughs> oh, man, that's awesome. Great stuff right there. Yeah. There's some big ones in here. Very good. Yeah. Well, you evicted him. All right. We are back in the fish cave. Uh, pretty cool to see a, a few fish down there. Um, yeah, su super nice guy. Uh, n nice to meet you, Jason, I, I, I believe it was. And um, yeah, sort of a fun video. This one was a bit different, a little, uh, a little whimsical. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. We'll see you in the next one.